Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. How good is that? Welcome to the podcast. Um, I am introducing today's podcast um, because basically I just want to let you know before you listen to the podcast that this is not my idea. Um, I'm quite happy to go along with it. It has been a bit of fun. But as far as me returning to Summer Bay, um, I'm not driving this, you know. Um, it's very nice to hear that people would like to see me go back there. But as far as auditioning and trying to show my acting prowess on air, I have not been in a single meeting. And in fact, if I had, I probably would have tried to fight the idea. Isn't that right, Tom? Yeah. You bet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I promise, please don't do that. And that's why I've introed this myself. Do not believe a word. Enjoy. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. There is a saying we have here in the studio. It's called Win Wednesday, Win the Week. Renee Barge, welcome to the show. You subscribe to that, don't you? Totally. Kate, say yeah. it. Win. W- w- everybody win, have a win, wonderful win, Wednesday, win, including win, Renee. Win, win, w- win, win the Wednesday. <laughs> win the week. How do you win a Wednesday, though? How would you win a Wednesday, Renee? Yeah, with oh. small kids, just a shower would well, be a Well, I would say a shower without yeah. a screaming baby would be That's a, win. a winning morning. Okay. Yeah, or a coffee that I actually get to drink hot. Sure. That's good. <laughs> that yeah. that is. Or that you, reme- that you remember you've made. <laughs> yeah, that too. That's o- not still in the microwave. Always a good one. Can we please talk about TV? Yes, we can. You are a Stan ambassador and there's so much good shows on at the moment. Yeah. The one that everybody's talking about and I've seen the posters around town, Hotel Cocaine. Yeah, it's good. Talk it, it up. What it's is good. it? It's based around the Mutiny Hotel, which was a big hotel in Miami in the 70s and 80s where pretty much all of the cocaine trade was happening, but wow. it was just where like all the big musicians and models, superstars frequented. It's kind of, it's giving Scarface vibes. Yep. Yep. It's sexy, it's raunchy, it's good. It, it drops every Monday on stand. So there's two episodes up now. And what about Exposure? Talk us through Exposure. Exposure's so good. I actually just streamed the entire season because it's all available now on stand, but it's it's quite dark. Mm-hmm. It, it's a psychological thriller. I don't want to give too much away. I know it's based loosely on a, on a true story and then are you acting. talking about a murder? Yeah. There is a... That, well, we don't know if it's a murder. So okay. I don't want to give too much away. There is a death in the beginning. Yeah. And it's really sad, but there are some moments of humour. And, yeah, I just want to say the acting is top-notch, like incredible. And how many acting. How many eps are we looking it's at? It's a great question, Kate. But there's six episodes of Exposure and it's so good, guys. You've got to watch it. All <laughs> ten seasons also are friends. <gasps> this is, is huge. That? Locked and loaded. I, it's so exciting. I think especially now that, you know, the weather's a little cooler, it's chilly. Friends is the best show to just have on in your household. Yep. And you know what's wild? This year will mark 30 years since Friends started. Doesn't that make you is feel it so really? old? And chances are you've seen all the episodes yeah. anyway, but that's the beauty of it. It's like having a, like a warm, huh? furry, like a, they, feel, they feel like family. It's, like a, it's, a, it's a little hug yeah. and it's effortless and you can yes. have it on. And yes. what? Do you have a favourite episode? Do you, did you ever watch? Do you, were you, did you watch it? Oh, I did. What yeah. would be a favourite episode for me? <laughs> oh, the one when Joey comes in. I, don't, I wasn't a fan of <laughs> Joey. Just, I know that's, that's controversial. You weren't a fan Joey's of my least favourite. It's not going to stop me watching Friends because you kind of have to have that person that swans onto the set and you think. Oh, Joey, go away! Yeah, no, I don't think about, Joey was my favourite either. If I if I could like if I could go out with Ross, I would go out. With, I really? would like to marry Why Ross was... and have babies with Ross. Yeah, Ross, maybe not David Schwimmer, but Ross. Yeah, Ross. Oh, yeah. Don't you yeah. think? Yeah. I think I want to look after Ross, but then that just gets me into trouble. That looking <laughs> <There after. you laughs> <laughs> This is where all the issues come from. Yeah. Is characters like friends? They messed us up. For I life. know. We all know every one of them. This has turned into a therapy session for Kate. <laughs> all right, this is exciting, guys, because the stand original series Hotel Cocaine and Exposure are now streaming only on Stan. Plus, all ten seasons of the hit sitcom Friends will return to Stan from July 1. That's Monday, guys. That's Monday. Thanks so much, Renee. Great to Thanks. see you. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Congratulations. You've tuned in at the most perfect time of this show because Kate Ritchie is heading back to the bay. <sighs> <laughs> Mm. Am I? Mm. I hope my mum's in the car. Do you know, I feel like there's two things that I'm doing for Australia right now. Flying the flag with 36 months and I'm trying to change the age kids can join social media. Good work, Whip. Because parents need it. Great effort, mate. Well said, Whip. Do you know what the second thing people want in this country? Kate Ritchie back in the boat. (laughs) Do I have to do this for everyone? 
do you think um, well, Albanese shoulders. and Dutton will get behind this campaign also, like they did 36 they months? They already well, have. Okay. Dutton came in here and he said, if this government is power, I'll put it on the top of my list for the first wow. 100 days. <laughs> awesome. Second on his list is to get Kate Ritchie back to the bay. Yeah. That's what he's talking he about. He is a fan. So what I thought we should do is... Sort okay, of well, and what's this? Is this an audition or is yeah, this just... Yeah, I need to submit to something. So my friend Julie, who? who works on the show, yeah. Julie said... My friend. I need to make sure that Kate is serious about it, so... I guess acting is like a muscle. Is that what you're saying? Yes. That radio is a different yeah. skill and so you've done the C. You, you need to, you need to see again. if I'm still... Yeah. Match, Has she still got it? Match fit. Yep. So you didn't like the storyline I came up with the other day about you being a gypsy girl in a, in a van in the car park? Not gypsy. Let's be very clear to the van. Not gypsy, the, not the, the character. Not the character gypsy. So what I've done here is I have gone with the new script... Um, we thought we'd do a read through. It's called a table reading where you're actually in character and you read through the script that's been written. Thanks, Whip. Okay. Where's so, my script? So, Tom. Or am I improvising? No, no, I'll hand oh. you your script in a minute. So, Tom. Yeah, I'll um, kick it off. You're the EP. Thanks. You are in bold, so you're setting the scenes. Okay, the that's EP's exactly what the EP is. never going to read. <laughs> they do in this room. All right, here's the scene. We open on a wide shot of Summer Bay. We see a familiar and definitely not forgotten cast member walking along the beach. There's your script. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Who am I talking to? Oh, no. Fair dinkum. It's great to be back. Can you do that again? Fair dinkum. It's great to be back. A ripped man, hot as hell and shirtless, no older than 25, runs across the beach and makes eye contact with Sally. His name's Jad. Um, okay. Jad? Yeah. What kind of name is that? It's just Jad. His name is Jad. Thank you. Miss Fletcher! (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying not to read ahead. Live TV. Okay, here we go. Miss Fletcher! Yes. Uh, uh, okay, no, you go again. You go again. Miss Fletcher? Yes. Well, ki- kind of. It's it's Sister Fletcher now. Do I know you? It's me, Jad, from Summer Bay High. You were the principal there when I was at school. Remember you kicked me out for graffitiing the urinals in Year 12? Sent my whole life into a spiral. Now I'm a good-for-nothing river boy. No real prospects in life. Wait. Why are you a sister, Fletcher? Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Can you do your line yeah, again? Yeah, sure. I think why, you missed a word. Why are you now sister, Fletcher? Well, Jad... You can call me Rad Jad if you'd like. <laughs> no, thanks. The reason I'm sister, Fletcher, is that I found my true calling. And I am now... A nun. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yes, that is my new boss. (laughs) Yes, that is my new boss. (laughs) Take two on that one. Sally chuckles and looks up at the sky. Why are you back in the bay? I was in Yabby Creek getting my habit altered. (laughs) (laughs) Right, this rubbish. (laughs) Okay. Uh. I was in Yabby Creek getting my habit altered. Leone at loose threads and (laughs) Leone at loose threads and women always was the best thing with a needle north of the big smoke. And I still don't trust anyone else with these. Okay, and I still don't trust anyone else with garments this important. (laughs) Wow, I can't wait to tell the River Boys about this. Rico, Nick Knack, and Sticky aren't going to believe this. Sisters are really doing it for themselves, by the look of things. Really are doing it for themselves. Let's. Try that again. Really are doing it for themselves, by the look of things. As one of my idols, Pauline Hansen... <laughs> OK. As one of my idols, Pauline Hansen says, this one's for the girls. This is for the girls! <laughs> <laughs> End scene. Oh, what do you think? Awful. What do you think, Kate? So we, I hate this. You're a nun now. No, Sally's not a nun. And I'm hot. Well, there are a few flaws in this script. You're a nun. You're not hot, and I'm certainly not a nun. <laughs> or maybe I could have found my I could have found my true calling. I don't. So, um, what do you think? So, I mean, at the moment, we can choose from Kate, the gypsy girl in the van, or the nun role. Look, if you want me, what? Are, uh, uh, what, what uh, 
I think I need a better option than this because oh I think gosh. that's a big deal. Uh, I mean, you're I right, can't Tom. believe I'm even yeah, saying this. It's right. a big she deal yeah. um, when Sally Difficult. goes back to the bay. And I think it needs to be... The, the storyline <laughs> needs to be just perfect. I'm not difficult. Well, Tommy's idea... Do you know what? I'm not difficult. I just want what's best for all of us all of because, difficult. you know... There's no I in team mm, or... But there's a you. And if the show's great, yep. we all prosper. Because Tom, Tom's idea was like a nude parachuting competition where you drop oh, Paragliding. The... Did you ever see the opening credits of Sally Paragliding? Oh, yeah. Why don't we just mock up those opening credits? Let's have a look for them today. Okay. You okay. can just put me nude. Difficult. <laughs> So you want a full rewrite? What if it opened and an, on and a nude and paragliding nude. gift okay. voucher if, from Red uh, Balloon? What if it opened on drone footage from above your house with you gardening in the nude out the back? No, at the Fletcher house at the caravan park. Yeah, I could have been raking the leaves or changing changing the sheets in the caravan. <laughs> All right, okay. Hey, if, back to uh, the drawing a full board. Rewrite time. Have we tomorrow. got time this way? She's yeah. hard work. Sorry, Tom. everyone. Talent is hard yeah. work, oh, man. man. Celebrities, yeah. yeah, Logie winners, breaking my balls. <laughs> the Fitzy and Ripper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Absolutely. We're on. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's time for 60 Second Starts. Kate Ritchie. I'm still standing now. Absolutely. Enter financial year is on now at Sydney City Kia. Visit Sydney City Kia in Oreden Street, Alexandria. All right, got a sweet hunchy for you on a shot at a brand new car. It's a Kia Sportage. You just need to get on and you're in the running for that car. But that $100 could be all yours this morning. It says on the screen, Dickie, not Richard Wilkins. Hello, Dickie. G'day. G'day, guys. How are you, mate? Oh, good morning. Oh, great, great. I'm ready to win it Wednesday. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. win well, let's, Wednesday. Let's see how we go. When I'm still standing. I think even just, I mean, look, just getting through to the show mm. feels like you're a winner already, but will you take home the $100 this morning? Yeah, I, oh, I definitely will. Oh. Okay. You're cool. going down, Kate, going down. Oh, Come on down or going down? No, going, I'm okay. going down. That's interesting. From Chester down, Hill down, down. to Dickie. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, whoa. Prices are down. <laughs> yeah, prices are down. <laughs> the big finger. No, I got it, mate. Right. <laughs> Out of context, Kate. Dickie, oh, you've mate. certainly fired things up here in the studio, mate. 60 seconds Let's on the go. clock. Person with Sorry. control at the end of the 60 seconds is today's winner. Dickie, you're the guest. You're going to start. 60 seconds starts now. Dickie, what was Steve Irwin's iconic catchphrase? Crikey. Correct. Where will tonight's Origin Game 2 be played? Uh, Melbourne. Mm, yeah. We'll give it to him. Melbourne, M- uh, M- MCG. M- yeah. Yep. Yeah. Who featured on Elton John and Pinyao's 2001 hit Cold Heart? Uh, Heart. Dual uh, is what we needed, Kate Ritchie. Yes. Caltex petrol stations have been rebranded to what? Ampole. Correct. True or false, English is the most spoken language in the world. False. True. Oh, well, we debated I'm this. I'm going with what's on the sheet. Over to you, Dickie. Dickie, name two of four suburbs beginning with Darling. Darlinghurst. Yep. And uh, Pass. And Pass. <laughs> Back to Kate Ritchie. <laughs> the app Strava, Kate, is used to do what? Running, measure yep, running and, and brag and carry on. What country is Dom Dollar from? Australia. Yeah! Kate Ritchie, so... <laughs> Dickie, you oh, were so confident. I think I got the wrong answer there. Oh. Yeah, oh, Dickie, he was ready to go, and I'm sorry, Kate Ritchie's oh. got you, buddy. Oh, no, I thought she gave the wrong answer there. No, no, no she didn't, she Dickie, didn't, Dickie. No, I think it was all that tough talking, Dickie, that mm, got you. A bit weak, Dickie. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing, buddy. You're in the yeah. right running for the play car. Play again. Thank call, you. call again next week. Yeah, we play every morning at 8 o'clock. Good on you, mate. <laughs> this is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Kate Ritchie's yeah, yeah. Scene Queen. Welcome, guys. And welcome, welcome to Theme Queen officially, Tommy. I know you like oh. to play quietly over there in the corner, usually because it is your favourite, not only your favourite yeah. game on the show, oh, yeah. but your favourite few minutes 
on the show each week. Yeah. You're one of the great corner players, Tommy. Honoured to be playing in the corner today. All right, well, let's get ready, guys. Um, this is where I do the official <laughs> stuff and I say, <laughs> welcome to round 20 of Theme Queen. I am your host, putting the OG in low gi. And oh. pe- that's great. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I'm putting the OG in low gi and potentially heading back to the bay. <laughs> Kate Ritchie. Wow. Yeah. What an intro. Ooh, ooh, that could be one of my favourites. This game's very simple. There are three rounds. In each round, uh, there are three songs. And as we know, all of the songs are connected by a theme. Yep. Try and stay as quiet as you can okay. so you can listen to the songs, work out yeah. what the theme is, yell it out, and then you can have a win. Feeling good. All right, here we go. We're going to start with round one and song number one. Untouched. Good. I like the way you talk through it and Tommy is silently scribbling. Left left hander, Tommy is Isn't for we, yeah. everybody that didn't know. Yes. Okay, untouched for the Veronica. I said that. Okay. Song number two. Easy one to start off with. Well is it? You have an answer yeah, yet. Song the number Madden three. Brothers. From the Lego movie. It is from the Lego movie. Who sings this? Uh, Emma. I think the sister. All right, so what is what is the answer? On what the count creates of three. all three of them? On the count of three, Tom. One, One two, two, three. three. Twins. Twins. That's a killer. <laughs> who is who does sing the Lego? Tegan and Sarah. Oh, Tegan and Sarah. You know Tegan and Sarah. Yeah, the twins. Yeah, yes. what's that other song they have? Yeah, that um, one. Everything is awesome. Round number two, guys. Okay. Song number one. Easy. What's my name? What's my name? Brianna. Yeah, good one. Song number two. Why does it always rain on me? Travis. And this classic song number three. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You I think don't know. it's so simple, don't you? No. What? Because you don't listen. <laughs> What's this song called? Where is the love? Okay, what was the Travis song called? Rain. Why does it always rain on me? Very well oh, done, Tommy. All questions. <laughs> All right, I'm so glad we only have one more round left because I don't know if I like this cutesy answer at the same time. <laughs> yes, stuff. but has it ever been a draw in Theme Queen? <laughs> round number three. Now, I want it like you really are going to have to put your thinking caps on for this okay. one. Okay. Song number one. Toxic. Yes. Britney Spears. No, you don't get points for that. I love this song. Okay, can I Sorry, I, guess? I know I'm... No, you can't guess. And you, okay, you give it. You give us a guess. Your best guess now. Their partners have been done. DUI. Uh, no, oh. song number two. Oh. Speak of the devil. Don't get. I'm just going to give you a little clue. Don't get too bogged down in the Britney Spears, Jason. Justin okay. Timberlake kind of. Who's Jason? Jason. I'm thinking about my trainer. He's trying to get me to go to the gym. You should. I said my while. schedule is full. Don't you comment on that. Um, song number three. Starboy. Look what you done. By the weekend. Okay. I was going to guess that they're all in the Mickey Mouse Club, though. But but the weekend wasn't. Oh, he wasn't was he? I don't think he was. The first two were. What have they all done though? What do they all have in common? Worked with Justin Timberlake. Oh. Not Justin Timberlake. Who are, what else may? Who else may they have worked with? I can't speak. Oh. Do you want to hear? Oh no. So who else has the week? So the weekend. Yep. They, they do. He does Justin a lot of co- um, Madonna. collaboration. Madonna. Collab- I did not look, look at, the at she- my sheet. On my kids' lives, I did not look at the sheet. It sheep. is Madonna. The oh. No. 
And I liked it better now Now that you've won. I liked it better when you guys said the answers oh, in unison. Three, here we go. Three, <laughs> three two, two, one. Madonna. Madonna. Well done, guys. Think Queen back next week. Wow. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Kate, I wanted to have a bit of a chat to you because now. you... Yeah, yeah. Live on the wireless. Because you keep asking me, what do you do with your day? You're so busy. Oh, my God. How do you get so much done? Like, what are you working on? It's extraordinary to see such a mind. Like, you, I'm sort of the Australian version of Elon Musk, I think you called me. I don't think I said that. I think I said, why do you look so tired? Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> and I took that as... As, gee, I must be doing oh. a lot of work. Um, or you also said, how do you, I know what you do now. You walk around with a piece of paper in your hand trying to look busy. Well, I have been busy. Today, I would like to make an announcement. I, everyone are you has not a, writing a book, another book, are you? I mean, the far is too, he writing a book? The far, he's not, far too he's personal not allowed trainer. to write a book anymore. Sorry, books no, are well, gone. there's no room in the garage. Well, they're all sold. Um, uh, here's the thing. Everyone has a side hustle. It seems to be the trendy thing to do. I didn't You've have got one. A, you have a few. Yeah, I've got a few on the go, but I want to launch one today and I want to talk to you about it because I know that you will be the perfect client for the product that I've decided to make. But what if we should have this conversation in the office because if I don't like it I don't want to put you down on air no but you're going to like it but the product's not mm. actually for you it's for another member of your family ah oh, well if you need to get to my daughter you need to go through me I need to speak to somebody else in your family by the name of Annie <laughs> your dog now, there's a couple of reasons and a few things I'd like to say to Annie. If only Annie could talk. If only Annie could talk, we'd find out what is going on with your underwear. No. But I would like... I lost another pair. Did Annie night. ate the crotch out of another pair? Was that last night or Monday? When was that? It was last night. It was last yeah. night. Oh. <laughs> Were you dressed as the dog again, no. Tom? My apologies. Bring your dog to work now. Like these ones. It was because I got lazy, came down the stairs and just threw all <laughs> my clothes into the laundry on the floor rather than put them in the basket. That's anyway. the problem. Okay. So, I, I found out the other day, I've been doing a bit of study into pet products, and it dawned on me that dogs see differently to the way we do. Oh, do they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> and I'm not talking about 2D or 3D or can dogs see TV. I'm talking about colour spectrums. And I found out that if a dog looks at something red, like we might look at the colour red, mm. they see a brown. So their colour spectrum sort of ranges from a light blue to a yellow. That's kind of what it is. And what's in between of that? And what's in Just different shades of light blue and yellow blends. Oh. So you could consider there a green there if you did your basic colours at kindy. Oh. So you've got that. That's, that's a bit disappointing, that's isn't it? That's a little bit what they look like. And then it occurred to me... When you make so much noise at home and you say, hey, May, come outside, have a look at this rainbow. To the dog? No, to May. Oh. The dog's not going to wander out there because the dog can't see the rainbow the way you see the rainbow. So there you are excited by all the colours well, of the rainbow, they also but the don't dog know can't the word see it. Rainbow. If you say, come out here and look at this, they just mm. follow you out like, oh, no. because and, they and just want to be where you are. Now your dog can get excited by the rainbow because... We've started a company mm. called Rainbow Wow. So now we're making rainbow chew toys in the colours a dog sees a rainbow. So now you and your best mate can see a rainbow together. Who's we? M myself and a mate, Rob. He's into dogs and rainbows as well. Rob from the newsroom? No, <laughs> that's Ron. <laughs> that's Ron Wilson. <laughs> Not Rob, but Rob. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, okay. So, if you've ever wondered how would my dog see a rainbow, I actually, you know what? Of all the things in my life and all the thoughts I have, I have to say, I haven't quite made it around to. Okay. I wonder what colours my dog sees in the rainbow. So, very. But, well, now you can. Now yeah. you can see how your dog would see how Annie can see a rainbow, and that's lovely through Rainbow Wow. And it's just toys. Oh, well, not just toys. Yeah, well, it's not just a They're toy. They're toys in yellow and blue. Yeah, but it's more than that. Blue and yellow toys. Yeah, it's a connection with your dog. Because you're now seeing the same thing for the very first time together. I understand that. Yeah, maybe you and your best mate. Maybe the flaw in this, though, is that you've had the time to explain mm. this entire story to me, and now I feel connected to it. But when someone goes into the shop or scrolls yeah. through it on Instagram... They're just seeing a yellow toy. Yeah, but then I go up to them and I say, hey. But you don't have the time to. Yeah, and I go, hey, do you know how your dog sees a rainbow? And they go, no. I say, you can now. And I hand them the chew toy. 9 95 
Kate, I have an opportunity for you to come and help out at the Rainbow Wow store at the Cat and Dog Lovers show. So we're going to be launching at the Cat and Dog Lovers Did you show. Say, I have an opportunity mm-hmm. for you, Kate. You can be there. And do you know what we're going to do oh, as well? I? We're Which going to get, day is it? Oh, I can't because remember. of all the days of all the if you're every busy, day I'm busy. But you could fly to Melbourne if you're busy for the Sydney show cuz Rainbow Wow will be at the Melbourne show as well, the Melbourne Dog Lovers show. Okay, can we test the rainbow on Annie? That's kind of where I was getting to. We, I don't have a dog and I... At home? or you, Does yeah. this mean you come to my house or I bring Annie here? You bring Annie in here. Great, that's fine. I'll go, fetch the rainbow, Annie. And he'll go, finally, now no one. Now someone can see how I see it. Rainbow Wow, coming to the Dog Lovers Show this August. The Fitzy and Ripper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. I want to know, this is one of my favourite radio topics. When did your name match your job? Oh, yes. Driving into work today, of course, I'm 100% focused on Nova on my radio. But my car sometimes, I don't know why, it malfunctions and it flicks the radio to 2GB. Yeah, it's testing um, you. Yeah, it is. So is he go, away? Oh, God, get back onto Nova, 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 Nova. Anyway, it flicked over to 2GB. And I just want you to have a listen to this traffic report, Kate. And the name of the person doing the traffic report. And the Hib Highway is humming. I'm Steve Carline with live and local traffic on Sydney's 2GB. When the lucky country... Huh? Don't cut it off there. Lucky country <laughs> oh, let's is the do full that word again. there. <laughs> and the Hib Highway is humming. I'm Steve Carline with live and local traffic on Sydney's 2GB. When the lucky country... Ignore that ending there. It was a terrible edit. No, um, I don't Snitchy, know what got to a... think about anything. Well, let's just focus on the fact that it was a traffic report by a guy called Steve Carline. Carline, not yep. Carlisle. No. Oh, that's why I didn't get it. And ignore the other part. A traffic report by Steve Carline. Oh, that's a that's amazing, Whip. That is amazing. Yeah, it is actually, and and that indicates what we're talking about, which is, um, mm-hmm. is your job a bit like your name? <laughs> <laughs> I get so time. nervous giving it a name. <laughs> Maybe it's just the first time you've ever done radio. Yeah. Do you know, I remember there was a guy and he sold rural properties in the Southern Highlands and his name was Steve Greenacre. And I went, Steve, sometimes your job almost dictates your career. You know what I mean? Your job dictates your career? Yeah. Sorry. You, you are your, tired. your name dictates your career. Yeah, it chooses you. It chooses your, you. Your name dictates your life. I would love to tell you what my doctor's name is. What is it? I can't because I, I don't want to tell you what my doctor's name is. So I don't even know why I'm telling this story. But it's a great one because it relates to her being a doctor. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Like what? Dr. Measles or something? Yeah. Yeah, you want to go with that? No, I'm not going to tell you what her name is. Um, we got some cracking calls on this last time. Have a listen. I used to go to a dentist called Dr. Blood and there was another dentist there called Dr. Mola. Hi, I'm a high school cooking teacher and my name is Miss Baker. I work in a school and I work with a teacher, Mr. Brain. Mr. Brain, how good is that? Do you think some of these people change their names? Do you know what I mean? Like the Mola one, the dentist who was called Mr. Mm -hmm. Mola or Dr. Mola, that can't be right. Cathy, hello. Hi. Hi, Cathy. It's not actually me, but it's the vet that I take my cat to. Yeah. And she works at a cat-only clinic, and her name is Melissa Cat. It Melissa Cat. can't be. Is it really Cat? <laughs> this is really her name, yeah. <laughs> C-A-T? C-A-T-T. Oh, okay. Now you've convinced me. It is good. <laughs> I mean, it is good. Because I feel like I would trust somebody more if they were a vet called... Dr. Cat. Well, it's good marketing as well, even if that's not really your name. Don't you change it? Because people say, you know which vet you should go to. Oh, Steve Poodle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he knows Poodles. Yeah, you sure? Does. What's his real name? Kelly in East Lakes. Good morning, Kelly. Hi. Good morning. Is this you? Is this your occupation that your name matches? No, sadly, again, I am passing the buck. Um, my dentist is Dr. Fang. That's great, isn't it? Um, Fangy. Yeah. Yeah, and you, Kate's rolling back in her I chair. I don't believe thinking, any of these. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm very, yeah, I'm very cynical. Name. Is it, no, is it I, with an F I, or a PH? With an F, 
And okay. it's so weird because I'm the same and it's the most hilarious story, but I actually carry her business card in my wallet. Some people don't believe me. I'm like, there she yeah, is. Oh, that's your, the dinner, your dinner party story, isn't that's it? That's my dinner party. That's how sad I am. Oh, Kelly, that is, on, Kelly, that is awesome. Uh, <laughs> thank you for calling. Andrew's in the Shire. What's your story, Andrew? What's the name? Uh, hi, we're Kate. Um, my older brother is in the police force and our surname is Cop. C-O-double-P. Cop. Is it real? So is he like Sergeant Cop? Constable Cop. (laughs) (laughs) Don't you stumble over it, mate. (laughs) Constable Cop. That is extraordinary. It doesn't doesn't really... Hey, the cops are here. Well, both of them. The brothers have arrived. (laughs) Well, that's when... Yeah, that's when Andrew would have uh, rocked out with his brother. Thank you, Andrew. You go to Shelley. Uh, uh, Cheryl Cheryl's or Shelley? Fine. Which one would you like me to go I'd to? Like to? I'll go to San Susie. Good morning, Cheryl. Hi, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Got oh, thank you. you. Too, Are you winning Chef? Wednesday, Cheryl? I certainly am. I'm babysitting grandchildren, three children, two, oh, four, and eight. Gee, you're Lovely a, day. You Lovely are a day. Good mum. Have you got a um, name matching your job yes, story for us? Yes. So my doctor's name was Dr. Death, D E A T H, and I was suffering from cancer. Oh! Well, you showed and him. I, and I kept saying, oh my God, why wouldn't you change your name? And he said, they said, but you don't, it's Death. It's Death, and I said it's death. It's D E A. Yeah. So his name was Nicholas or Nick Death, Doctor well, Nick oh. Death. Death. If you asked him, the thing is, the the you were asking the question, why wouldn't you change your name, Doctor Death? But I guess his question to you would be, you Cheryl, if you're unwell, why are you coming to see <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Death? <laughs> well, I did recover from the cancer, which was good. I would have I would have actually been dead within six weeks if I didn't have my surgery. So. Oh my god! Yeah, by accident. So yeah. I was very lucky. But then heaven. Not ready for me yet. So, no, you know. no they, the grandkids need you, Sherry. You're not going oh, anywhere. No, absolutely, especially when you leave home at ten past five in the morning. I love listening to you guys at ten past five in the morning, and I love listening to you guys at five o'clock in the afternoon when I'm going home. Oh, oh. and I love talking to you. I love you, Cheryl. I think you're my new favourite. Maybe you could babysit me one day, Cheryl. Oh, come round. I'm a great. I'm a great nanny. Actually, I have people that say, "Do you like? Do you do this for a job?" And yeah. I said, "No, I just do it for love." Oh, we should have a wine soon. Good on. Cheryl. Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, God, I've married the wrong woman. Isn't she lovely? Thank you. Sits in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.